Well, hello again, everybody. I hope you are all keeping well. Um, I wanted to do another video today because I got an email in my inbox, I think it was yesterday uh, or this morning, uh, from Topaz Labs. And I must have been hiding under a rock for the last God knows how long because I wasn't aware that they were releasing Topaz Labs AI. Uh, so obviously I was quite excited um, and interested to try it out. So I downloaded the software and I've literally just, my mind has been just blown. It is absolutely unbelievable. Um, I mean, as many of you may know, I did a review on uh, some of the Topaz Labs programs a while back and Topaz Sharpen, I think it was. And that's incredible software, as is the Topaz Denoise and the Topaz Gigapixel. But this one does all three in one. Uh, which is incredible and it's all it is all done by AI and the AI engine is pretty impressive and um, I've tested a few images with it and it pretty much gets it bang on every single time so yeah I wanted to do just a quick overview of the software show you through it show you how it works with a few demo images and things like that uh, I think pricing wise I think they're pricing it at $199, $199 which for what it does, I think is an absolute bargain. And up until October the 7th of 2022, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, they are also offering $40 off the, the, uh, the, the total price, which is great. So I will leave a link in the description for you to uh, purchase the software if you so wish, which would help me out as well. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's crack on and have a look at this awesome software. Okay, so here we are in the Topaz Photo AI software. Straight away, you can see that it is very, very straightforward. Uh, all there is is a browse image button to uh, import your image or images. You can also just drop images in here if you wanted to. Uh, I have got one that I've uh, sort of chosen that I was sort of testing with that, uh, that impressed me quite a lot. And uh, there's a picture of this little, uh, little fox. I'm just gonna click on that and uh, it's going to do its thing. You'll see down in the bottom left hand corner here, this will show you the progress and exactly what it's doing. Um, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, just to 50%. Uh, I do find the defaults to 100% and sometimes I just find that a little bit too, too zoomed in for me, but you know, it's a personal choice. So um, yeah, I mean, this is all done in real time. You can see, there you go, straight away, it's done its job. So this is the before and I'm just going to drag it across and watch the magic happen. There we go. Uh, I mean, this was a slightly, this is an incredibly noisy image before. And if I just pull that back, you can see that there's, if I do zoom into 100 now, you'll see that there is absolutely tons of noise on here. Um, so if you want to drag around your image, you can just use the, just click and, click and drag like this. And you'll see in the top right hand corner, that there's a little sort of selection box that you can see. Uh, you can also drag this selection box around. So if I just move it to a sort of a quite a noisy place, let's just move down to here, just there. Uh, it will rescan it again, uh, but it doesn't take too long at all. Uh, that would also depend on your things like your CPU within your computer and the, whether you have a graphics card and so on and so forth. So it may be different for different computers. Um, but if we just pull this across again, you can see that it really is impressive. I mean, this is, I, I chucked a load of food out for this fox as a chicken breast on the, uh, on the pavement there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you see straight away that it is absolutely unbelievable, um, what it does this, this, this software. So I'm just going to zoom back out to 50% and just run through a few of the other features here on the right hand side. Uh, I mean, one thing that impressed me is that this is, very 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 straightforward there's nothing because a lot of it is done by ai um, there's not a massive amount of settings that you really need to do um, but if we work on the autopilot here uh, it says here first of all at the top it's detected a subject so if we hover over that it's seen that there's a fox there and it's obviously assumed that that's the sort of the main sort of focus of the image um, you can refine this mask so if you click on refine uh, you can change the sensitivity. So if we pull that down a little bit, you can see that it's going to take some of that mask away. If we pull it up, it's going to include more like that. Okay. Um, so let's just send that back to 
where it was, about there. Uh, you can also adjust the softness. So if I pull this all the way down, you'll see that this is a very, very sort of hard edge um, around the mask. Uh, so what I would probably tend to do is just increase it quite a lot, just to sort of feather this mask out a bit. So that will make the transition um, a bit better. And then we can just click on done. And it will also show you here what it has applied uh, using the autopilot settings. So because this was originally the resolution was 2048 pixels square, uh, it's noticed, recognized that as a sort of a lower resolution image. So it's automatically increased the resolution by 1.7% up to 3461 by 3461. Um, and then it's also noticed that it's got high luminance noise, which it has got a lot of. So it has applied the noise reduction uh, as well. So coming down to image quality, if we just click on this drop down menu here, um, we can see here that it has automatically applied strong noise reduction at 35, which is not a huge amount. And we can obviously adjust this if we wanted to, uh, but obviously the more you adjust it, it may uh, sort of, you know, introduce artifacts and you know it may not look as good so i think the engine that it works on tends to get it right pretty much every single time um, and then you've got a sharpening section this hasn't chosen to add any sharpening but we can if we wanted to so uh, i mean it's probably going to make it look a little bit weird if we do introduce sharpening but let's just give it a go um, it's recognized that as motion blur but not quite sure whether there was any motion blur in there but that's fine and um, so it's, it's just doing its uh, stuff in the background here. And there we go. So if I turn that sharpening off and then turn it on, in fact, that's pretty good, actually. Done a pretty good job. Um, if we just pull this across the before and the after, there we go. Um, we can zoom out to fit to see what it's going to look like normally. And there we go. So that's added the sharpening to there. You see, I mean, that, that is just astounding, absolutely astonishing. Um, so yeah, in this case, I mean, try things out. You know, if, if, if you want to, if you think that it doesn't look quite as sharp as you want it to be, add the sharpening, see what it does. And you can always switch it off if you wanted to. Recover faces. So this basically, this is an animal, so it hasn't detected a, a human face. But what it will do, uh, in fact, we may have a look at an image in a minute that will show that um, it will automatically recognize faces uh, and it will improve the uh, sort of the, the, the sharpness and any noise for faces. Uh, and then here we've got enhanced resolution. So we can see here that it's, it's recognized that this is a low resolution image. Um, so it's applied that um, increase in resolution and upscaled it slightly for us. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, after you've done, what you do is you click on save image and then you can add your own prefixes in. It will, there is a tick box here to add applied filters to the file names. So this can be useful. Um, so you can know at a glance, uh, you know, exactly what's been uh, adjusted on each image. So this is says denoise, enhance and sharpen. Uh, but we can switch that off if we want to. There we go. That's gone. Um, and then this suffix you can change if you wanted to. Just change it to enhanced, for example but uh, that's up to you. Um, and then you choose your save location. So the original folder, or you can browse and just save it to a different place. And then you've got the input format. So this was a, a JPEG image. So I would probably just keep this at preserving the input format. But if you didn't import a TIFF and you wanted to export it as a JPEG, then just select it from there. And then we just click on save. So why not have a look at a, another one? So I'm just gonna find another image. Let's use one of their examples. So let's go with this one here. So I'm just gonna open this one up. So you see here, if I'm gonna see, this is quite a large image because this is actually a raw photo, this one. Um, so it's doing its stuff in the bottom left, you can see here, you see here that this girl's face is blurry. Okay, so he's not too bad, um, slightly blurry there, but there was obviously a, a, a bit of movement in there, or maybe just a sort of just slightly missed focus. 
So let's see what it does to this image. Um, I'm going to come out to fit here. So it says it's removing noise, preparing sharpen model. You see in the top right here that it's, it's detected to the, the subjects. Um, it's removing medium image noise. So it's seeing that there's a, a medium amount of noise in there. Um, and it's sharpened the soft areas as well. And it's now done. So let's pull this across. And there we go. So let's just start, stop here. Wow. <laughs> um, that is incredible. So you can see straight away on the hand there, you can see all the lines in her thumb here. Very blurry. And then let's improve that from there. Coming onto his clothing. And then her face. Oh my goodness me. That is astonishing. Um, I didn't actually try this image earlier on. And uh, yeah, this is this has blown me away. So yeah, I'm lost for words, really. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, let's see what it's done to it. Just to click on these settings. So normal noise reduction, quite a low strength. Sharpening, yeah. It's added sharpening and rec uh, recognized motion blur. So yeah, that's what I thought it, what it would be. It um, doesn't quite look like lens blur. Um, subjects only. So you see here that because it's added the mask, it's only applying this to the subject. Okay, so this mask here, if we click on refine, um, we can soften it a bit. So let's increase that softness. That's probably a bit too much. There we go. Okay, it's going to do all its thing again. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's that's all I need to show you guys, really. Um, I mean, the fact that this does all three things that the three individual pieces of software that they had out previously, the fact it does it all in one is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's really easy just to switch things on and off if you don't want to apply um, resolution, if it recognizes that it needs enhancing or increasing the size and you don't want it to, um, then just switch it off. Not a problem at all. So yeah, there we go. That's the, just have one more look at that. In fact, let's finally, before we finish up, let's zoom into 100%, just because we can. Let's go onto her face and see the results zoomed in at 100%. Okay. What on earth? What is this wizardry? Well, well, yeah. Need I say more? So, what do you think? <laughs> I think you'll agree it's, uh, it's pretty special this piece of software. I think they're going to do very, very, very well with it. And I mean, I for one can see myself using it daily. Uh, obviously, I've, I've, um, I shoot a lot of, a lot of different projects. Uh, some images, you know, need to be shot at a high, high ISO. And also, I have a lot of personal photography that I'm very, very excited to, to revisit. Um, you know, go back on those old images and, and re-edit them and to bring them to life a little bit more when software like this wasn't available. So, uh, so yeah, as I mentioned at the beginning, if you are interested in getting the software, then please uh, click on the link in the description below. And once again, thanks for your time and I will speak to you all again soon.